So today on our Facebook page, we had someone ask about cockpit setup and specifically lever shifter combination, where your shifter should be, where your lever should be, and how to reach both. Um, so I figured I'd answer that question and, and give you guys a little information. I brought out a couple different bikes so you guys can see the different options that you have. Um, brought out a trail bike, cross country bike, and a downhill bike. Um, on my trail bike and my downhill bike, I'm running SRAM on both. And you'll notice that I have a lever shifter combo. So I don't have much, I don't have much room to move that shifter and brake lever away from each other. You'll notice though that here on that shifter, there are actually two screws. So this allows you to move that shifter uh, in and out on your brake lever. Um, right now I have my shifter moved all the way out because you'll notice I have really small hands. Um, so I'm, I am able to reach my brake lever and my shifter at the same time. On the bike that I have over here, I am lucky enough to have a, a lever shifter combo uh, that are separate. So I can move that shifter in and out um, wherever I need it to be. So on this bike, I've got this shifter on the inside, or I'm sorry, on the outside of my brake lever, if you're looking at it's closest to my grip, um, so that I can reach both my brake lever and my shifter at the same time. And then let's talk just a little bit about position. We wanna make sure that we can do a one finger braking no matter what bike we're on. And so that will, that's gonna dictate, you're gonna to have to move your lever in or out on your handlebars in order to reach that. And then take note where you, where you are comfortable on your bars. I personally am comfortable on the outside of my bars, out wide. One reason I do this is it lets me get my elbow out so that I can get into a good ready position. And then we're talking about the question today was specifically the uh, where my lever is, how high or how, how low or how flat. And so you notice on my cross country bike that my lever is lower. It's, it's, it's a little steeper. I don't ride a lot of steep downhills on this bike. It's a cross country bike. And so what we're looking for, um, whether it's on a downhill bike, trail bike, cross country bike, Really, when I'm in a ready position, I'd like a straight line from my elbow down to my braking finger. And so, when I'm in a position, when I'm in a position where I stay stay in that position, especially for climbing or not as steep descents, my my brake lever can be just a little bit steeper. You'll notice on my trail bike, it's a little bit flatter. But either bike, it's going to let me have a nice straight line when I'm in a ready position. Straight line from my finger to my elbow so that my wrists aren't bent. I'm able to get in that nice ready position. Um, you are gonna have a reach. So uh, Shimano, both Shimano and SRAM, you're gonna have reach. So um, all it is is a knob down here and I can turn that knob to bring that lever in towards my bars just a little bit more or I can turn that lever or that knob to take that lever a little further away from my bars. Personally, I like my levers really close. Um, one thing that I do like about Shimano that SRAM doesn't give me, is they give me a little screw here for, um, I think this is called free stroke, I can't remember. But basically, um, that's gonna give you a little more modulation. You can adjust this, it's gonna give you a little more modulation in your brake lever to make your brake lever either real snappy feeling or a little, I guess, mushy or softer feeling. And it just depends on what you like. And then we'll take a look at my downhill bike. And the reason I want you to look at this is you'll notice that my levers are even flatter here because I'm in a downhill position. I ride much steeper terrain. And so my ready position, my elbow tends to be back a little bit rather than right over my bars. Um, and so depending on what kind of terrain you ride, uh, you're gonna adjust that brake lever, whether it's really steep or a little flatter. But for the most part, for a cross country or trail, you're gonna want that lever somewhere in between 45 or maybe even a little bit steeper. Um, and I'm gonna give you one more bike to look at. This is my husband's bike. And I just wanna show you the, the shifter combo, the, the, the shifter lever combo on this one. And you're gonna notice that the shifter is the on the outside of, or I'm sorry, is on the inside of the brake lever here. You're gonna notice too <laughs> that on this bike, if I'm in a comfortable place where I can reach the, the brake and I'm good on the bar, I can't, I'm not even close to the shifter. 
And so here I would have to move this shifter to the other side of the brake lever. And I know you're looking at that um, indicate the the gear indicator on this and on these Shimano's you can take on the upper ends you can take this indicator knob off um, so you can move the, the shifter to the outside of that brake lever um, so if you're having an issue reaching um, often you're gonna get it from the shop like this and it's because guy with bigger hands put it on um, but it's not a big deal to switch them around um, and so if you're having a hard time reaching that lever make sure that you're taking the time to switch the lever and shifter into a position where you can actually reach both at the same time.